Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. What? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Are you? Dr. Roy Zerbell. I don't understand. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Dr. Roy Zerbell. You're a fucking asshole. I, 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 what? I, 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 what? I, 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 what? What are you talking about? Are you? 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 It's episode 799, and it's brought to you by Basket of Grapes, Brennan, Omni, KC Deeply, and Gobi. They support us over there on the Patreon. Thanks, everybody, that does that. I noticed yesterday that GAD has started releasing more episodes of the Reasonable Sanity podcast. We all got together a few weeks ago and did a bunch of prank calls to people. Me and GAD and uh, Snappy, Dwight, Great Big Pete was there this time. I think he was there last time too, though. And I don't know, a bunch of us. Because what he does is he uh, gets people who want to be on a podcast or a radio show, and he convinces them that he's a real radio show host, and they just want the exposure, and usually they're crazy. And we all just kind of take turns being weird at whoever the, the guest is until they usually hang up on us because they're angry. It's a lot of fun to listen to. You should go over to his YouTube and listen to some of the stuff we've done. You can find him at youtube.com slash Jesus in a dump truck. There's four new videos up so far. I know there are more to come. And if you go back even further, there is just endless Reasonable Sanity podcast episodes where we've tricked all kinds of experts into thinking they're on a real show and saying silly things to them. Some of them are pretty good. So go over there and listen, please. I'm too lazy to go find a clip to play in this show right now. Sorry, G. Adam, just kind of lazy. Also posted recently is a brand new episode of Madhouse Live. And by brand new, I mean, you know, like four years ago, I think, 2019. I've been very slowly editing the very last shows and putting them up on the feed at madhouselive.com. So there's a brand new episode over there if you want to hear it with Carlito. And I think Jag TV was on that one. And some other guy who I forget. Madhouselive.com. One last thing, I was on Wasted Memories show this week, but it wasn't Wasted Memory that was broadcasting it. It was actually Dragon Mirror. So I'll put a link to that. I think it's up on an archive. If anyone wants to listen, I know I did a few calls with them. I can't remember if mine sucked or not. You guys will just have to go listen and find out. The link is in the description. On today's show, you're going to hear a live show that happened a day ago on Friday morning. And I managed to cut the runtime in half. It was originally two hours long, and I decided about an hour of it was good stuff that you guys might want to hear. So that's what you're about to listen to. This is Friday's live show that was broadcast on prankcast.com. You should go to that site, sign up, follow my show, and that way you can get notifications whenever a show happens, and I can steal all of your ideas from the chat room. Here it is. Here's Friday's live show. Hey, everybody. We're doing a live show. I got one thing I want to do today. We're only doing one thing. We can't suggest any other things. Um, I'm going to be calling up um, people who live in apartments as their apartment complex. If you listened to yesterday's hobo sode, you know what I'm talking about. But that's been out for like 12 hours, so half of you have not... Most of you probably not seen it, heard it. It doesn't matter. But I got this really huge list here from Reggie. And it's got every once in a while blocks of apartment numbers in them all at the same address so I just look up the address and I get the name of the apartment building which is not working uh, on this first one I've done that doesn't even look like an apartment what oh that's like an industrial building okay I guess I gotta watch out for those so let me scroll down a little don't worry there's plenty of them in here 
So we're doing reverse apartment calls. We're going to be the landlord this time. We're going to talk to the tenants from hell. Okay, I found it. Uh, once again, okay, this one is an apartment building, but it's like it doesn't have a name to it. Wait, but if I do street view, I can see the sign out front, right? No, wait, maybe. This is going great so far. Ah, uh, this, okay. Is this a church? Okay, they look like apartments. So I'm just going to start calling these things. But I, I think it's, it's some sort of religious apartment building. Okay, very first idea that I've seen. Tell them they can't have a meth lab. Okay, Lana Delray. I'll do it on this one because she doesn't even have an apartment number listed, even though she's at the same address. I also got some ideas from um, Hal on Patreon. He sent a bunch of ideas in the comments. Hey, yo. Hey, Leonard. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Wow, it's pretty late to be waking up. Did you have a late night last night? Yep. Hey, it's Eddie from the apartment office. Huh? It's Eddie from the apartments. Eddie? From the office. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can't be making meth in there. That's not allowed. Can I be what? You can't be making meth in there. Jesus does Man. not... Jesus does not approve of meth, sir. You can't, can't prove it what? You can't be staying up all night and making meth. No, I went up all night. I just went home. Okay, but I know, but you can't. You were up all night and you were making drugs. Oh, no. I don't mess with that. Why were you making drugs last night? I don't make drugs. I don't You're, mess with drugs. That's, that's against the rules here. And also, Jesus doesn't approve. Yeah, I don't mess with drugs. Yeah, well, I'm not, but you're making drugs in there, and you're not allowed to, so you cut that out, sir. I don't make drugs. I don't mess with drugs. I don't even smoke. Good. You shouldn't smoke. Smoking's bad. Yeah. No, I don't mess with drugs. Good. I'm glad. What were you doing? At, where, were you, where were you at last night, then? Mm hmm A friend of mine. Uh, oh, so you're at your friend's house making drugs. Yeah, I won't make a drug. What were you doing, then? Were you watching Home Alone? Just me and her sitting down, laying down, and talking. Laying, sitting down and laying down and talking. Laying down. Did you get lucky? Oh yeah. Woo! Good job. Ninety years old, but I got lucky. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> All right, I finally believe you about the drugs. This was just my opening test prank call for the show. I'm going to be more serious about my prank calls from now on, okay? Okay. Um, thank you for not making drugs. Oh, yeah. I'll miss my drugs. Good. Drugs are bad. Just say no. Uh, oh, yeah. I love you. All righty. I love you. Yeah. Uh, you need to say it back, sir. Say I love you, too. I love you, too. All right. Bye. Listen, you old ball sack. That's what Mr. Biggs wants me to say. Well, that was nice. Thank you, uh, person who told me to say that. All right, ideas from um, Hal are uh, masturbating too loudly at night, uh, cooking of any kind. There's a glitch in the building's fire alarm system. They're setting off the alarm in Mrs. Steuben's unit, uh, taking showers longer than two minutes, flushing too many wipes down the toilet. Dog Lettuce wants me to tell him their apartment's going to be a common area. Eminent domain. I don't know if I don't know if to say that I'm like in the office at the apartments because this is a weird apartment building that seems very religious. Hello. Hey, Shirley. Yes. It's Eddie down from the apartment office. Yes. Hey, um, we're gonna we're gonna start using your living room as a common area. So, um, you know, it's it's kind of like an eminent domain type of thing. We're, uh, people are just going to be coming in, in and out of your living room daily. Like, hey, Why? Well, we just, we need more common are areas, they say, in the apartment building. And there's really nowhere to put them. So we're going to put one in your living room and one in Mrs. Steuben's living room downstairs. 
One in whose living room? Mrs. Steuben. Mrs. Stevens. Yeah. So we uh, don't have a Mrs. We don't have Miss Stevens. I know of. Oh, I, she she um goes by her spy name when she talks to me. That's what. It's like a religious name. But man, we're just we're gonna come up there. We're gonna take your door off your front door. You're not gonna have a front door anymore. Cause that's that's gonna be a common area. Just, uh, and you still want me to pay rent next month? Well, of course, you still have your bedroom and your kitchen, and we're gonna we're gonna give you lots of visitors for free. I don't want no visitors. Well, you don't really. I mean, it's gonna be a common area, so you need to stay out of the. No, it's not gonna be a common area. I would. I would just put in my. I just put in to move then, because I don't oh, want nobody in my my apartment. Don't do that. It's it's not gonna be your apartment. Well, I mean, it's still gonna be your apartment, but it's a common area too. And um, you know, I don't know what a common area. What's your name again? We're gonna put some picnic tables in there. You know, with umbrellas on them. Now, what 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 what's the what's the number of this apartment you're talking about? The two hundred seven. Yeah, we're just gonna take the front door off. We're gonna make a nice decorative entrance with an arched doorway, and uh, people will just be able able to go in there, maybe eat some lunch. And just chat with each other, and and you can control the TV. You can tell them like I'm controlling the remote. It's my TV. Uh, I, what's your name again? Uh, my name's Eddie. Eddie from where? Uh, for, hit down here at the office for the apartments. You are uh, Eddie, and, and you are the manager. Yeah. Well, I just work here in the office. And ma'am, we're gonna need. Well, what, what, we're, we're, where's the manager? What's the manager's name? Oh ma'am, I was trying to tell you something. We're gonna need you to clean up, clean up after all of the, uh, you know, the people are coming in and out. You know, just no. Wait, 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 wait a minute. The first of the month, I will move out. Let you have it since you want a common place. No, no. I'll move out. No, it's just, no, I'll move out, Mister. No, I'll it, move out because I don't like people. It's just half. Of I your, have animals, but I don't have people. Oh, what kind of animals do you have? I say I like animals, but I don't like people. Oh, do you have any animals? No, I don't have any animals up there, but I'm telling you, I like animals. I don't like people. You should get some animals and let, let all of your guests pet them. No, I don't want no guests. Okay, well, they won't be guests. They'll more like just be people visiting the common What's area. your name again? Oh, What's my, your name again? My name's Eddie. What's your last name? Um, well, why do you need that? Because everybody has a last name. Uh, Smith. Everybody's called Smith. No, uh, you're not called that's Smith. A common name. Well, that's a common name. Smith is. Yeah, but you know, you you don't have a common last name. What's my last name? Uh, but it's not Smith, and you said everyone's last name is Smith. No, I didn't say that everybody was called Smith. I said it's a common name. Well, first you said everybody's last name is Smith. I have a recording. No, of it. You uh-huh. said, no, 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 no. I'm gonna play back the recording. Sir, you- what? Okay, play the recording back so I can hear it. Uh, well, I have to. I'd have to turn off the recording, and then I wouldn't be recording you anymore, and that would mess up. No, my... no, you can turn it off. You, well, you got one of those old timey ones, haven't you? Well, no, no, it's all digital. It's up here on the screen. It's just if I turn it off, uh, I won't hear. I won't have your reaction recorded, and it'll make my podcast not as good. All right, Mister Eddie Smith. Yeah, Eddie Smith. You say your name is Eddie. Yep. Uh huh. Ma'am, it's not like we're taking okay. over your bedroom, and you don't have to let anyone use the bathroom. That's your bathroom. You know? I hope you have a good day. I have something to do. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? Shirley? Okay, I may as well hang up now. Bye. <laughs> Shirley? Are you there? Shirley? Okay, I'm hanging up. I don't know what happened to her. She's still there. Or she, uh, you know, she hit the mute button or something. But uh, that was an idea from Dog Lettuce. Thank you, Dog Lettuce. It worked out pretty good. She didn't want her living room to be a, a common area. That'd be weird. Yeah, she fell. She was like, ooh, crazy people. Yay, out of that entire apartment complex, one call has sort of worked out i don't know i kind of like the uh the old man 
getting lucky last night too. That counts as a call. Mr. Biggs wants me to say that they're subletting to an AI, but then I'd have to explain AI to old people. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. I'd have to explain AI to old, old people. That doesn't sound fun. All right, Bucket of Walnuts has the next idea. We're gonna be uh, spraying coyote urine around the interiors of the apartments to keep away the deer. That's just good thinking on the apartments we have. Um, yes, I don't know about uh, 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 I don't know, Mr. Biggs. Maybe on the next um place I call, where it's not a bunch of old people. Oh, Shirley was eighty-four years old though. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Betty. Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the apartment office. Okay, what? Um, we're going to be coming in tomorrow to spray coyote urine around your house. No, I, yes, I don't think so. Oh, no, we have to. It's to keep away the deer. You don't want deer coming in your apartment. We don't have we don't have deers around our house. Well, you, you could. You never know. Like, And it, and it keeps away other animals, too. Oh, no. Your idea sucked, Bucket of Walnuts. Okay. I'll, I'll try it one more time. Well, let me delete her. All right, so that's that entire apartment building. That was fun. We talked to three people, maybe. And when I say entire apartment building, I just mean uh, from from what this list is from. It's some kind of a Democrat list. It says it's a walking list, though. I don't know what that means. These people don't sound like they go walking. So I'm going to scroll around a little bit and try and find another block of apartment numbers. It's for canvassers. I was actually wondering if it's like people that, um, uh, you know, go around and protest or whatever, or show up at rallies when they come to your door to talk about a can't talk about a candidate. Thank you, Connectus, for telling me things I should probably already know. Ooh, this one is a uh, mobile home community. So we're gonna be calling up uh, trailer park people. Well, I mean, mobile home park people. This is gonna be great. All right, I like that idea. RMS, I will do that today soon i want to do the uh, coyote urine thing again too i liked that I, that idea message cl20 the customer you have called is unavailable or has traveled outside the coverage area oh no please try your call again later message cl i must have reached them on their cellular phone what does cl stand for mr biggs does it stand for cellular line 20 Hello? Hey, Betty. I mean, uh, I was calling for James. Who? James. James, is the wrong number. Hey, don't lie to me, lady. I need to talk to James. Huh? I need to talk to James, so don't lie to me. You go get him. James? Yeah, go get James. I know he's there. Well, who is this? This is Roy. Well, Roy, I don't know who you're talking about. Listen here, you son of a bitch. I need to talk to James. You better get on my goddamn phone talking about some what you need to do. How dare you take the name of the Lord in vain. She should be ashamed of herself. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. It, it's Roy from the apartment building, from the office point. Yes. You hung up on me. That was so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I know who it is. Oh, man. Um, hey, we need to come into your apartment on Monday to spray uh, spray coyote urine all around the interior. Who? We're, we need to come into your apartment on Monday, Monday morning, and we're going to spray coyote urine around your apartment. No. Just what, no. We're, around my apartment. Yeah, just like you know, in all the corners and behind the couches and under the beds. For it's, what? It's to keep away the deer because you don't want to end up having deer in your apartment. And she, <laughs> all right, bucket of walnuts. I'm, I got to give up on that one. I think. I don't even know if that was the right number. She said a weird name. And what the hell is this name? Uh, her name's Melissa. The fuck is that? Hello. Hey, Melissa. 
Hey. Hey there. It's Roy from the office here at Point Apartments. Uh huh. Um, did you, you didn't respond to the letter that we sent out last week? Where we need to? Uh, what was? Well, we're gonna we're gonna come in your apartment and we're gonna spray coyote urine all over the place. You gonna do what? We're gonna spray coyote urine all over your apartment. I know you don't lost your darn man. Oh no, ma'am, it's to keep the deer out. We've had a problem with deer going into the apartments. What deer? Going to who apartment? You don't just it's nothing to worry about. You don't need to panic. It's okay. But um, you know, we gotta we gotta nip this problem in the bud. So we're gonna be there Monday. No, I don't know who you is, but you telling some long. No, I'm not. We gotta we've gotta spray coyote urine in your apartment. You ain't gonna spray no dirt and call to use in my dirt apartment. I don't know who you are, but you feel like lying. Ma'am, we have to. We're, we're doing this to all the apartments. I don't care what apartment you do. You ain't gonna put the common in my apartment. You're, you're acting like I'm a thief and I'm gonna come in and steal your valuables. That's rude. I don't care what you do. Hey, you tell that lady in the background just to shut up, please. No, I just gonna tell her in the background to shut up, please. I said, I said, please. I say, please, ma'am. Are, are you the are you the one bringing deer into the apartment complex property? Look, you're you're crazy, ass. Oh well, you're a ship hands full. Take that. Don't you call me a son of a bitch? Oh. She pulled the phone away from her mouth to get that last insult in. Like barely here. I want to oh, get I traveled in safety. How can I help you? Oh no, where's Rolanda? I'm sorry, who? Rolanda. Who are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for Rolanda. Sorry, I'll I'll have to disappoint you. There's no person here with that name. Are you sure? Do you know everybody's name there? Yes, Barry the Fairy. Did you call me Barry the Fairy? I'm sorry, that's the number that came up. I am so <laughs> offended, <laughs> ma'am. I cannot help it. We do not have a Rwanda. I swear, I want to take a screenshot of oh, Barry the Fairy. Do it. It's okay. I don't mind. That's that's what everybody calls me, Barry the Fairy. I love it. How can I help you? Um, I was trying to... I thought this was somebody's home, and I thought her name was Rolanda. No. Was, we are a travel agency, but if you want to travel somewhere, I will absolutely bring you places. I'm sorry, I can I can get off the color ID. <laughs> it's awesome, though. Yes, um, I'm sorry. I think you have the wrong phone number. All right, uh, I was just gonna prank call her anyway. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, thank you so much. Have I love you, ma'am. Absolutely. Ba- bury the fairy away. That's what it says. <laughs> yeah. You guys remember, like, maybe last year, I started calling myself Barry a lot, and I never explained why, I don't think. And it was because on, on a certain caller ID, and I guess it was this one, I wrote my name as Barry the Fairy. And I just wanted someone to say something about that, and they never would. But uh, finally, my work has paid off. She thought my <laughs> She kept saying Barry the Fairy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy, even though it was a wrong number. So hopefully that's what a lot of people are seeing on their caller ID is Barry the Fairy. I need to start saying my name is Barry. Here, let me write that down. So I don't forget. If you know someone whose name is Barry, please do not call them Barry the Fairy. I'm pretty sure that's a hate crime. Be nice, everybody. I regret jumping. Is glad that my name isn't Chomo. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh, Corinthia? Uh-huh, this is she. Oh, hey, it's Barry from the <laughs> apartments. Uh huh. Um, what are you guys doing in there? You're being you're being real quiet, and it's kind of creepy. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, you're being kind of quiet in there. You're being a little bit too quiet, and it's kind of creepy. Quiet. I'm at work. Oh well, who's in your apartment? Uh, my son might be there. Oh, we were listening at the, at the walls, and we were just wondering why it's so damn quiet in there. Yeah, my son might be at home because he got a. But yeah, he should be at home. Okay, yeah, we were we were just creeped out. We thought it was you there, and you're being way too quiet, and it was a little creepy. 
Oh, no, I'm at work right now. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, I don't think I need anything else then. It sure is loud there. All those dishes. It's not quiet at all. I thought I had the wrong what number. Oh, no, no, no. That's because I'm at work. Yeah. Is it a good day at work? It's, yeah, it's been okay. Okay, good. Good to know. Okay. This is Barry signing off from the <laughs> apartments. Barry, away. Okay. All right. Bye, ma'am. Sorry for the call. Uh, thank you. Uh-huh. I don't I don't want her to be worried about her her kid home alone and we're uh <laughs> we're like listening at the walls. I had to let that one go, I'm sorry. Uh I regret jumping. It says uh we have a, a minimal sixty decibel uh sound ordinance. Sixty to uh eighty decibels max, but sixty decibels minimum. That seems like a good policy. Then you know what's going on. Please try your call. Oh, and that was uh, Main 25's idea. Uh, Main 25 is completely responsible for me making that lady feel uncomfortable. She's probably calling her son right now to make sure he's okay. Like, there's no people, like, at your windows listening, is there? Oh, I got a call back. Uh... Hello, Gersperm residents. Ah, uh, shit. I took too long to pick up. I don't know who that was. All right. What was one of uh, Hal's ideas? Hello. Hey, uh, Annie. Hello. Annie, is it Annie? Hello? Hello? Annie, is that you? No. Uh, you got the wrong number. No, I don't have the wrong number. Don't worry, Annie. Don't I'm, worry. I'm not a bill collector. It, ah. All right. Wrong number on that one. <laughs> what? He did? did? No, he didn't. Don't lie, F in reality, but I do like that idea, and I kind of want to do it. Um, call his ICP and tell them we're about to roll up with the posse and water their plants and trees. <laughs> Why? The big sids. Okay, here's another call coming in. Hello, Gersperm residents. This is Carol speaking. I'm sorry, did somebody just call What was the name? Uh, by the name of Barry? Oh, uh, what did Barry say? He was calling, uh, that he's a worker. May I ask who's calling? A worker? I, I don't know. I, I, um, nobody's calling you, actually. You called me, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Well, what's going on? What, what, are you, what are you doing here? What am I doing where? I don't know. You're calling me up and asking me weird questions about my 12-year-old son. Okay, somebody just called, said Barry, to my friend's phone, and we were just trying to figure out who was calling and why they were calling. Because they said it was mighty quiet over here. What would they say? They said it's mighty quiet. What are y'all doing up there? What are y'all doing up there? Oh, I don't think that was us. Like, uh, my son is up in his room right now, and he's doing his homework. So it couldn't have been him, even though he's uh, in his room, unattended, with his door shut, and there is a telephone extension in there. But I don't think he did it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. But you got you, you, you two just need to. Oh. <laughs> See how concerned she is about the whole. Uh, you know, your, your son's being very weird and quiet in there. We need him to make a little bit more noise. It's creeping everybody in the apartment out. How long have we been here? We've we been here an hour. Holy shit. Hello. Hey. Sirena. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's uh, it's Barry from the apartments. Okay. Um, we need you to stop flushing those wet wipes down the toilet because you're creating a fat you said, bird. You said what? Uh, you're flushing too many wet wipes down the toilet. No, I, I don't. I know they, those. ma'am. I know they say flushable on the package, but they're actually not. <laughs> We don't do that. We don't have those. You don't have flushable wet wipes? No. Well, no, we traced it. We uh, we put some cameras inside of the uh, the drainage pipes, and they're definitely all coming from your apartment. So somebody... We don't use those. Maybe somebody that lives with you is uh, secretly using them and flushing them down the toilet? I'm not sure, but not to my knowledge. 
Uh, we're gonna have to. Um, we're we're gonna have to just insist that you stop flushing the toilet, and we're gonna come in there and look and just make sure there's no wet wipes. Is Mr. Bobby available? Uh, Mr. Bobby is. He's out. Of, he he ran out to the video store. He'll be back soon. Okay, because I don't want anyone to come in my apartment unless he's with you guys. Oh yeah, well, Mr. Bobby can come with us. Uh, yeah, because I don't. We just need I to come don't in recall there and, us doing that. Yeah, we need to look in your toilet and just ensure that there's no wet wipes in there. It's just TP. And then, uh, you know, because you can't be flushing those wet wipes. We don't have those. I don't know why. Yeah, but, you know, that. like you, that's something you would say if you did flush wet wipes. You'd probably lie I'm about sorry? it. You'd probably lie about it and say, oh, we don't do that. Is this a prank? No, no, I'm in. Who has you calling me right now? Uh, Mr. Bobby does. He he's been putting cameras, like little uh, endoscopic cameras, through the sewer pipes to track down where they're coming from. And also to I'll talk to someone when I get out there. Thank you. To poke through the fatbergs, also. Okay. <laughs> that was an idea from Hal. <laughs> Distraction service, obviously. Oh my God, that's a great idea. Whoa there. We gotta, we gotta start getting them to poop, poop uh, in imperial units, <laughs> not metric units. Come on, this is the fucking UK. What's wrong with you? Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Uh, hello, Nora. Nora, it's it's the office. This is Mister. Hello. Mike. Oh, hello. Oh, thank God you picked up. Nora. Yes. How you doing? It's it's Bobby at the office with the point apartments. Okay, how you doing, Bobby? I'm okay. Uh, they um, we just need to ask: Have you been pooping in metric units or imperial imperial units? Okay. Because we have metric toilets here. I don't know if you're aware. Have some what? We have metric toilets. We got a discount on them because. They're metric toilets. They're like from the United Kingdom. Uh huh. So you have to poop in metric units. I don't know about that. Well, I think you've been pooping in imperial imperial units, and that that uh that just throws off the whole thing. Uh. -huh. So do you think you can start pooping in metric units, and and also flush in the opposite direction? Cause you know, you know the flush. You don't know what to talk about. The flush goes both ways. Who is this anyway? Oh, this is Mr. Bobby. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Bobby, who? Uh, Mr. Bobby. I, I'm. I work here in the office at Laurel Point Apartments. Bobby Bear, uh, Barry Bobby. Laurel Point Apartment. Yeah, doesn't it say that on your caller ID? You work there. What? You're not, you're not my. What? Well, go ahead on my car. I don't, you don't get it. Oh, uh, you just <laughs> you need to get on the internet and look up the difference between metric and imperial. And you Listen, I don't have an in 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 internet, so I don't know what you're talking about and get get anything. From anyone. Listen here, ma'am. You need to go to the library and get a book on uh, metric and imperial units and learn the metric system because we have metric toilets. I don't have no metric toilet. I don't want it. And I don't need it. And I don't have a way to put it. Ma'am, you, you. you already have a metric toilet, but you're breaking it by, by pooping in imperial units. Well, I don't know much about that, so I can't get it. I'm not going through all this mess to get it. You, you can't so if they want me to have it, they had to put it in there to sell. Well, um, you know, we wanted to save a little bit of money, so we put in metric toilets. And you need so to put it in there, then. No, we don't want to. I don't to. have no money. Well, no, we don't. We don't want to pay for it either. So, can 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 you, can you just uh, you know like be a team player and learn how to poop in metric? I guess not. I think Synthhead is uh, giving the chat room the the math equation for metric to imperial pooping units. Man, she got mad because she didn't have the internet. 
I'd be mad too. Hello? Gloria? Yes. Hey, it's it's uh Barry over here at the apartment office. Okay. And you're being real quiet in there. Are you home? Uh huh. Oh, why are you being so quiet? It's it's creepy. Like you're so quiet it's creepy. Who you said this is? Uh this is Barry at the uh apartment's office. Uh huh. Yeah, you're just being real quiet in there. What are you doing? Why are you calling me? Uh, we're just trying to figure out why you're being so quiet. Like I called, Who is we? I called up your next door neighbor and I asked them to put their ear to the wall uh, to see if, you know, we just want to make sure you're okay because you're being so quiet. I'm fine. Okay. Well, why are you being, why are you being all quiet like that? Why are you being so creepy? I'm creepy. Well, it's, it's, you know, you, you, you're, you're just being real quiet in there. And we don't know what's going on. Do you think you just, whatever you're doing, can you just do it louder? No. Can you stomp around a little bit? Maybe like, you know, bang pots. or What are you doing? What are you actually doing? Why are you questioning me about what I'm doing in my own home? Well, because you're being so quieted there. I was starting to wonder if you're like secretly a mime. I don't know who you is, and I don't know why you calling me. Why is Tamara not calling me? Who? Why is who? I need you to come my line, sir. I don't know who you are. Oh, this is Barry. Well, you can come down to the office, and, and, and I'm here. Yeah, I'm going to have to come down there because I don't know who you is. And how do you know I'm not keeping on? It, how do I know you're not what? How do you know I'm quiet? Because you're just being so quiet, like anybody that walks by your your door, like they can't hear anything. Oh, and um, well, they don't bother to hear anything. I I asked your neighbors to uh, put their their ears up to the wall, and they're like, "No, we can't hear anything," and they didn't know if you were home. You're being so quiet. Well, I don't know. Who, I'm coming to the office there because I don't know you. The neighbors said that you're welcome to stomp around a little bit. I don't want to stomp around. Just, just get some heavy shoes on and just clomp, clomp, clomp. Clomp around in your heavy shoes. For what? Sh- just so people know that you're home and and you're not being so creepy. It ain't nobody business whether I'm home or not. Well, and you creepy for calling me. But why are you being so quiet? I don't get it. I'm, you finna get this? I'm, uh, what? What am I going to get? Oh, shit. Did she point? Did she point at her crotch when she said that? I'm pretty sure she did. This lady's name is Thelma Louise. That's her middle name is Louise. Wait, that can't be right. Her last name is the name of one of the actors that played Thelma or Louise. This is fake. Ah. We're sorry, you have reached a number. Thelma, Thelma Louise. I may as well say her last name. Thelma Louise Davis is uh, dead, I guess. Rest in peace, Thelma Louise Davis. Uh, she was 71 years old. She will be missed. She was always one of those quiet people. Hello, you, hello. You have reached Vanessa. <laughs> I'm not in at the moment. Please leave your name and your number, and I will return your call. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day. Vanessa, are you home? Hello. It's Barry at the the apartments. Um, we have kind of a question to ask you. Very important question. Are you there? Pick up, 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 pick up. Oh, I got a. Wait, what? Someone named something Davis is calling me. I think this is a different lady. Um, hold on, ma'am. You're gonna hear this call on your machine. Hello, Gersperm residents. This is Carol speaking. Carol. Hey, what's going on? Who just called me from your phone? Oh, I don't know. I've been here in the kitchen this whole time. Just doing kitchen things, you know. No, I'm saying somebody called me from your house or your phone number, and they was asking me some very unusual question. Why is I'm being quiet and I'm being creepy? I don't know this number, and I don't know them. Oh, I, I know who this is. You're the quiet one down in that one apartment. Who are you? 
Oh, this is this is Carol Gersperms. I, I live here in the apartments. And what apartment? Well, I don't want to say. Um, you're, you're you're like that quiet, that weird quiet lady. To, to Y'all be got honest, me all messed up. I'm a little I'm a little intimidated intimidated by you, ma'am. Why? Because you're so quiet. Y'all got me messed up, honey. I'm not quiet like that. I don't know who you um thinking I am, but I'm not the one. Well, you're now, being, how did y'all get my phone number? You're being so quiet today. I mean, how y'all get my number though? Well, I don't think we called you. It's just me here, and then my son. He's upstairs doing his no, home, well, homework. Your son called me. Somebody called me. Oh no, and no, he, he, Hi, girl. Can you tell that dog just to shut the fuck up, please? Oh, I can't yeah, tell my dog to shut the fuck up. Who the fuck is you? Well, it's just being fucking loud, barking, you know. I don't know who you is or where you live there, honey, but y'all need to erase my number. Y'all creepy y'all creepy to me. Oh, can you also tell that lady that tell that lady in the background to also shut up? Because you're on the phone. She should know better. I don't know who you are. Yeah, well you should know better. Like don't interrupt her Sorry, conversation. Only thirty over here to seconds ask left to, to finish her. this recording. Sorry, that was my answering machine. <laughs> okay, uh, Vanessa, I think that's who I was calling. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that prank call. That was one of your neighbors. She's a very quiet lady. All right, bye. There we go. We both left a nice message for Vanessa, I think. I think that was Vanessa. That lady's so freaked out about, about being called quiet. Good job, Main 25, creeping out all the ladies. At the apartment buildings. I got to tell two people to shut the fuck up today. What a good day. Well, I mean, a person and a, do and a dog. It's just the greatest idea for an apartment to do. Leave your name and a brief message and I'll get back to you as soon as... Because apartments, they want you to be quiet. They're always telling you to be quiet for your neighbors. What if you're too quiet? F in reality would like me to advertise my OnlyFans to my neighbors. So let's see if this lady's around... Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, is this Lil Hello? Is this Lily? This is she. Oh, hey, it's it's your neighbor. I, I live here in the apartments. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm an E1. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um I was wondering, have you happened to, I've been putting up stickers around the apartment building for my OnlyFans site. Have have you have you been to my OnlyFans yet? Uh, sir, I'm a little bit confused. Who gave my number? Oh, uh, I just looked it up on the internet. I'm calling up my neighbors, uh, like a bunch of my neighbors, and just asking if they've been to my OnlyFans site. It's OnlyFans. What? What, what? what is that for? What is that for? OnlyFans. What is what is it for? Oh, like if you if you go to it, you can um, I I I post videos on there, videos and pictures. It's OnlyFans.com/slash Barry the Fairy. Barry, Barry the what? Barry the fairy, F-E-R-R-Y, I think. I, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not into stuff like that. I'm not, I don't even have a computer, so I'm Ma not into that. Okay, but ma'am, they're not naked pictures. I'm just scantily clad. Like I wear Daisy Duke shorts, and sometimes I have my shirt halfway off. It's just stuff like that. Okay, I'm not into that. Okay. And I don't have a computer no way, so... Yeah, but you haven't even seen uh, me yet. Like, um... Sir, did you hear what I said? Can I bring I'm you... I'm a pack. I'm not interested in that. Could I print out a picture and bring it over to you? Oh. Did, was she, uh, she... I thought she started to say she was a pastor's wife or something. Or maybe a pastor. That didn't work out, F in reality. Nobody wants to see my scantily clad body. I don't understand why. Shamia? Shamia? No, you got it wrong now. Oh, bullshit. You put Shamia on the phone right now, buddy. What? Hey, you better put Shamia on the phone right now. Man, I, get the fuck off my goddamn phone. Man. I need to talk man, to you got wrong, fucking Shamia right now, buddy. Man, get the fuck off my shit. <laughs> got a wrong number there. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, we are getting a call from the apartment building. 
<laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, I'm calling from an apartment. Who am I talking to? Oh, it's Carol. I'm one of your tenants. I've been getting a lot of weird calls Who? today. I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of weird calls from people here in the apartment. They keep calling me up and, and saying that I called them. Who's calling you? Well, I don't know. Like a lot of people, they, 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 they've been saying weird things. And, you know, it's just me okay. here. It's me and my son. I don't, I don't know who's calling. Okay. What is your name? Carol. Okay. What apartment are you in, Carol? Uh, that's none of your damn business. I don't, I don't even know that you're actually with the apartment buildings. You could be one of these prank callers. Okay. So, um, uh, nice try, well, prank caller. Know. Okay. Are you saying well, my, you my son... Me, what? You don't have to give me your information, but I'm going to just go ahead and report this number to the police. Oh, I, I don't would. Know what's going I would. On. I would definitely report this number to the police. Yeah. I think okay. I might do that, too, because right. this is weird. Um, like, yeah, definitely. Go ahead and do that. You don't think my son's been making prank calls upstairs, do you? I don't have anyone that's named Carol living here. So, uh, I wouldn't be in the computer, smart guy. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I know everybody that lives here, and I have no one that lives here named Carol. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give this number over to the police, and they can figure out what's going on. Okay. okay well, if this is if this is my son making prank calls, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna okay. whack him with a newspaper. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna Bye. I'm gonna whack him in the back of the head. Okay, that was pointless this for them, at least. I don't know. See, I should have changed my number to. One of these other people that were mean to me. And they'd be having the police called on them. I'd teach them a thing or two. Oh, that's... I, I wish I would have said that. I regret jumping. And report their number to the to my priest. Priest is a higher level than a police officer. A mere mortal. Hello? Hey, is this Letitia? Master calling. Yeah, it's Barry from the department's office. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, we're going to be coming in there on Monday and replacing your countertops with with a uh, press board. Hey, I don't live in the anymore. I oh. moved on. Yeah. So, what? Yeah. We're still charging you rent. Yeah, I'm not charging me. Have a great day. Well, is this why you <laughs> haven't been paying? This is going to go on your credit report, uh -huh. ma'am. Okay, we'll do that then, baby. You're in a lot, of, a you're in a lot of trouble, Letitia. It's crazy how many of these are valid. I mean, the list uh, that Reggie sent me is from January 2023. I think he compiled it himself somehow because he's some kind of a damn wizard. I like that idea. I regret jumping. I'm going to try it again. I think it's hilarious that that would somehow save them money. It's going to be a really thin countertop, so you can't put anything heavy on it. It's going to be a quarter inch plywood. You're not, you're not allowed to paint it. Don't spill any water on it. I think they should re reduce the flow to their apartment just to comply with the uh, Paris Accord. The climate agreement was, <laughs> you know, using less water. That's a good thing. It might take you 30 minutes to wash your hands, but it's all for the greater good. If you utter so much as a syllable here, I will gut you like a bitch. KK, leave your message. Uh, you need to tell your kid to stop making threats to me. Tell me he's going to gut me like a fish because I don't appreciate it. Um, also, this is Barry. Please call me back. Bye. Fucking kids. Hello. Hey, Mariana. Yeah, I'm Mariana. Hey, Mariana. Uh, we're going to come into your kitchen. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Barry from the apartments. Who? It's Barry from the apartments. You know, one second. I don't understand because I have not speak English anywhere. Darn it. Let me put in my song. Mate, let's try speaking French. Merci French? beaucoup. I don't speak in French. I, I, speak I don't either. Spanish. That's the only word I know. The only phrase, I mean. Give me one second. Let's try pig Latin. Hello, hey, this is Airy Bay. I'm a all in K, I'm fray of a. 
Apartment A, Office A. Hey, it won't pay. Does that work? <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird if that actually worked? It's like, holy shit, I understand you. <laughs> Me? Hello? Oh, hello, sir? Yes? It's Ari B from the apartments. Oh, yes. Yeah, hey. Uh, we're going to be downgrading your kitchen counters. So we need to come in there on Monday, and we're going to rip out your, uh, just the countertop, you know, where you set everything down in the kitchen. Yeah. We're going to rip it out, and we're going to put some very thin plywood in its place. It's to save money. Okay. And so it's going to be very thin plywood. You can't put anything heavy on it, and you can't get it wet. All right, let me explain to my mother real quick. Okay. Um, I want to hear, too. Hey, yo. Can you talk to her Can you talk to her in Spanish, Pig Latin? Yeah, I'm talking to her in, in Spanish. But do it in Pig Latin, too. And... Okay. Ruined that one. Man, there are so many people in this apartment. This one just goes on forever. I'm thinking about quitting in about 15 minutes, so be prepared for that. Don't cry. I just don't want to be editing three hours of show today. All right, what am I doing next? Quick, everybody. Am I downgrading their bathroom to urinal only? Then we're going to put um, outhouses outside for, for, for pooping. Like, do they really need a urinal? Hello? Oh, hello. Hey, are you there, Brittany? Yes, who is this? It's Barry from the apartments. Uh-huh. Hey, we're going to be um, downgrading your bathroom. Uh, we're going to take the toilet out on Monday, and we're going to replace it with a urinal. A what? A urinal. You know, like in the men's room, up on the wall, those urinals? Why? Uh, we're just, we're doing that to a few of the apartments. So you're going to have a urinal and there won't be a toilet in there anymore. And which bathroom? Uh, your bathroom in your apartment. But it's okay. We're going to have uh, pay toilets out, out in the courtyard. Okay. All right. Bye. There's going to be like a bathhouse out there. <laughs> or we could just tell them to get like a, what are those uh, litter boxes that that hippies use you know like the the compost toilet that's what it is thanks for showing up everyone today looks like there's 127 people listening if that's updating correctly lady's name is diamonique like dominique but diamond Eek. hello hi diamond Eek. no this is her mom she's at work can i take a message oh well um we just needed to talk to you about your flushing there. Because, you know, you're just you're limited to just three flushes a day. And you guys have been flushing your toilet like five times a day there. Who, who am I speaking to? Oh, this is Barry from the apartments. I'm sorry. I should have said that at first. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm Makisha Robinson. Oh, hey. Hey there. Uh, well... Um, can can you guys just like maybe flush the toilet not so much? Like only flush it when when it's brown, flush it down. That's what we always say. Okay, but And if it's yellow, let it mellow. Like it's I'm I'm not understanding because um I know I I've, I've been sick. Oh, no. And, um... What's the matter? Uh, that's personal, okay. but I've been sick, so I never had got a call about <laughs> somebody flushing the toilet. Yeah, you guys just flush so much. You like flush five times a day. Okay, and I'm gonna flush ten times a day. Well, no, that's too much. Don't be flushing ten times a day, ma'am. Like, um, you can go, you know, go to a restaurant or something, and maybe use their toilet. No, go to your mammy house. How about that? How about I go use your mama bathroom? Uh, no, she doesn't allow me to come over anymore ever since the incident. Hug up. She got me good, though. 
Oh, look at that. Her her name is right underneath her mom's name on this apartment list. Same phone number, so I can't call her. <laughs> Your flushing tax is going up. Thanks for that idea. Uh, I regret jumping. You know, she's calling her daughter right now. You, you're not going to believe this. They say we can only flush three times a day. A bunch of bullshit. This really is just mostly a female list. I don't know why. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, we're going to call back from uh, Diamonique. I think that's the toilet flushing lady, right? Uh, apartments, this is Barry. Can I help you? Yes, you had called my phone talking about flushing. Oh yeah, you you're, had, you're the, the one. Office. You're, you're the one that flushes too much. Yes, I, I just talked to you. You at the main office? Yes. Yes, I am. And your name is what? Hey, you better not try to to be rebellious and go flush your toilet on the phone right now with me listening, because I I'm not having that. What prompt you to call? Is this a joke? Oh, no. We have sensors on the toilet. And you're at four flushes already for today. Sir. What? I just got home. So how am I at four flushes? Oh, I don't know. Like, uh, it sounds like, like maybe you got up after midnight last night. and I work, I work night shift. I work the double shift. I work 11 to 7. I think there's... And then I work 7 to 3. But isn't isn't your mom live there too? She's probably getting up late no, at night. No, my mom is past. My mom is past. My dad is past. Wait a minute. I called a minute ago, and you said this is her daughter. No, I said I'm. You you asked for Dominique. I said I'm her. I'm her mom. Oh, that's just confusing. Also, I pronounced her name Diamond Eek because I thought that's how it was. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna have this call Trace. I'm gonna report you. Oh, ma'am, we're going to have to upgrade you to one of our electric toilets. Because it's got, you know, like the I'm sensors. You, so her dad worked for the sheriff's office, my ex-husband. So I'm going to have this number, Trace, and I'm going to have you report it. I'm going to call I'm gonna call the priest on you. Call him. Because the priest, uh, you know, that the priest trumps the sheriff. Take that. You're kind of funny. <laughs> you're kind of so funny. I'm not even mad because you're funny. I think you're funny. So... Oh, thank you. I you have a blessed day. All right. Um, hey, does, does, your caller ID sh- does your caller ID... Sh- don't you dare flush that toilet, especially while yes, we're on the Don't do it while we're on the phone. I'm about to do it right now. You better not. Don't do it. Don't you do it. I'll get real mad. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> You're in trouble now. We're giving you an electric toilet. Okay. That's what you get. You're going to get the electric that's, toilet. That's fine. I'm going to go flush the other toilet, too. Oh, you bo- no, we're getting, we're replacing both of them with electric toilets. If you flush that's too much, fine. if you flush too much, it'll shock you. Okay, that's and, fine. And you know what? It'll The shocks will increase every time you do it. Okay. All right. I love you. I got to go. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Okay, that was a a weird... A weird thing at the end. All right, uh, Victor, an actual man. That's crazy. Bye. I regret jumping. It's okay. I'm leaving in a minute anyway. The show only has six minutes left. Hello. Hi, Victor. Yes. Hey there. It's Barry from the department's office. Did, did what you, about it? Oh, did I'm sorry. Hello? What? Hello. Hello. I'm here. Oh, okay. Did you say what about it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking fast enough for you. Uh, right. Did you get the letter we sent about the toilet? We're going to be replacing your toilet. Fucker. I want to talk to him anyway. He's being all impatient with me. That's not how you talk to your landlord. You're supposed to kiss your landlord's ass. Man, this sucks because I had one last idea. And it's kind of from uh, Main 25 again. Uh, about having to watch ads every time you flush. That's more like half of an idea, but I wanted to tell them they're getting an electric toilet with a screen in it that's going to play ads for them, and there'll be a camera. It's basically a, a tablet attached to their toilet. I don't know. Yeah, I want to give people expensive electric toilets because they'll pay for themselves with the ads. <laughs> yes, and they have to pay for the 
premium toilet subscription if they want to remove the ads. Thank you, Dog Lettuce. I'll add that to Main 25's idea. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine one. I accidentally called you Sog Lettuce. Sorry about that on the idea page. Hopefully I'll get that right if I do this next time. Coin op toilets. Mr. King of Sock Sockopolis. What? All right. I wrote that idea down. Yes, F in reality. You can have the biggest role ever. You should just make the next telephone falls. Does anyone uh, out there do animation? Um, 100% for free. You should get in touch with me. Let's make the next telephone falls. Okay. Guess what, everybody? I think that's the end of the show. I've called every single number on this last apartment list. Uh, there was a lot of them that didn't have phone numbers. That sucks. But thank you for uh, sharing your ideas with me. That was kind of fun. Hope y'all have a good day. Uh, remember not to flush your toilet too much. Because that's how we get prepaid flushes. And the electric toilets start coming in from your landlord to regulate your flushing. And make you pay for a premium subscription. You don't want that. Bye, everybody. Uh, hi, Brad. This is Josh from California. Hey, Josh. Um, I have from a L.A., right? I saved you in my address book as Josh from L.A. I have a baby now, and she's just looking at me. It's looking at me with a little snake eye. Oh, they do that. They're just looking at me. It's you so you got to make crazy monster faces at them and make them cry. Then they'll stop looking at you. Weird. I, I feel so uncomfortable. And I feel like she's disrespecting my position as her father. So do you have any tips? You're probably right. Say, you know, you have... What she's doing. To stop looking at you. So, just got to, uh, you know... Yeah, let me know what you... Get good at those monster faces. Make them really, really scary. Maybe just come in in a clown suit. But don't try to be funny. You gotta be a very grumpy clown. Hey, Brad. This is Justin from West of the Rockies. Hey. And uh, we just wanted to let you know that your uh, 1,100 copies of that awkward moment with Zac Efron that's on its way. Oh, yay. My favorite movie. And we also have uh, a plate of Kiki Wasala mm -hmm. showed on its way to you. Okay. And uh, we're just going to dump it in your front yard. Thanks. So other than that, uh, you're doing a, you're doing a hell of a job, and appreciate the content that you've been releasing. You're doing a good job. Thanks. Okay, bye. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Walter. Hey. I just bought your book on Amazon. It was renewed for six dollars. Hey. And I got it personalized for someone named Paul. <laughs> and the message you wrote. That's great. Said, hey, Paul. Congrats on spending fifteen dollars on this book. Instead of using that money to feed starving and chill. Ah, shit. The call dropped out, but I think there's a part two right here. Hey, right Brad. Here. It's Walter. Yeah. I just called, but I dropped my phone mid-call. You dummy. Uh, I bought your book on Amazon, renewed for $6, and it was personalized, autographed, and dedicated to someone named Paul. Did Who I Paul? draw anything for him? Oh, I don't know. First time caller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time listener. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Walter, for the voicemail, for both of the voicemails saying the same thing. I was hoping you'd finish my whatever I wrote in there about letting children starve so you could have a stupid book. Hey, Brad, it's Stephen Reality from Colorado. Hey. Um, I just wanted to call you. There's been something that's been on my mind for a bit. Of course there is. Most people in the real world can't use the R word, you know, the retard word. And I love that word. I can't really use it in my normal day to day unless I'm like growing out or something with some people that I know don't have like some touched children or whatever. Um, but yeah. you get to use it as much as you want and everyone just pats you on the back. It's like South Park. They get to do whatever they want. People just go, oh, it's I South don't Park. use the retarded word that often. I know I've used it really well in prank calls in the past, but come on. I don't, I don't say the R word. Like every couple episodes or anything. They can do it. So what I need you to do, if it's okay with you, okay. I need you to do a whole episode where when someone says, who is this? You flat out tell them unapologetically, I am Roy, the retarded boy. Yeah. And they can deal with it. That's right. Love you. I can't get away with that though, because I'm not actually retarded. I need a retarded person to give me the retarded card so I can say the retarded word all the time. Because that's how that works. 
Good morning, Roy. Uh, this is uh, John calling from the Hong Kong Association. I just hey. want to let you know that uh, I wanted to ask you politely to stop pooping with your cat at the dog park. Okay. Um, you know, that actually can cause a lot of issues and you don't even pick it up. So this is pure on disrespectful. So I'm a hippie. Stop pooping with your cat. Okay. Thank you. My poop should go into the earth. It's good for the earth to leave it out there and not pick it up. Stop trying to interfere with the way things are. Hey, Brad. It's Redbeard. Hey, Redbeard. I just to say thank you so much for my stickers and coins and buttons and my little clown figure and all the neat stuff you sent me in my uh, package. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to make sure... I threw all kinds that, of garbage uh, in there. If I sent you money on PayPal, that your PayPal is the claim that it's always been... Yeah, it is. Uh, because I'd like to send you a little money. You send me a bunch more stickers. I love, I love all the stickers, but post money like just the best. All right, this is post thirty seconds. Oh, I love you. Thank you for everything. I Bye. understand the end. If you go to phonelosers.bandcamp.com, there's a merch section, and you can order stickers on there. They're just five bucks for ten stickers, and I usually throw in a few extras. Hey, Roy, this is TJ calling from Florida. I just want to say I'm a huge fan of the Snowplow Show, and I'm a huge fan of your content. Thank you. My favorite one would have to be the Valentine's Day special with the 18 t That was very funny. Even my yeah. dad enjoyed that one. Just have a quick question. It was like a five-hour show, and I think that's the only awesome call that happened during it, but it sure is awesome. Yeah, what did you think of another... The um, Snowplow, or not Snowplow, the TLA logo with the bell on it. What if I got that tattooed on my leg? Do what do you it. think of that? All right, love you. I dare you. Uh, you wouldn't be the first. There's a few other people. Shit, how do I hang up? <laughs> you don't know how to hang up. You dummy. But yeah, there's other people that have had the PLA logo tattooed on their skin. I haven't done that yet. I just have a regular telephone company logo on my arm. I think that's cooler than the PLA symbol. But if you send me a picture of it, all completed and everything, then it'll probably be show art someday on an episode. So you'd be crazy not to do this. Oh, hold on. I got a call coming in. Hello. Okay, this is Goldberg Park, Police Department. Well, I asked who I'm speaking to. Um, can you say that again, but try to sound more like an actual police officer so that I will believe your lie? Yeah, like I believe the lie you just called and told me. But they are investigating your ass. So you <laughs> oh, they are? Just like you're a police yeah. officer, huh? That was fun. Hey, Brad. I have an idea for a prank call and a phone number for you. Okay. Just kidding. Oh, okay. Wow, you sent this voicemail way back on March 24th, and you had no idea I was going to play it on April 1st. That was a good April Fool's prank. You got me good. I really thought you were going to give me some ideas, but Hi, didn't are you happen. slightly mentally ill and really like prank phone calls? Why, yes, I am. Well, come join PrankCast today and come see such great shows as The Milk Box Show, yeah. Ice Cat, yeah. Phone Losers, yeah. Devin A New Start. We also have The Dog Lettuce Show, Despicable Dog, yeah. and we have Wasted Memory. And Dragonmere as well. Yes, we do. I'm Despicable Dogs. And uh, you hang up that phone. You hang it up, Brad. Hang it up. I don't have yeah. to because I can see the countdown to where you're going to hang up because it's a voicemail, you big dummy. But I agree. Everyone should go over to prankcast.com. Usually around 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, there is a show happening by somebody almost every day of the week. But their show's happening all day and all night. Really weird hours with some people. Hey, Brad. Hello. I was just listening to a Tally Hall record, and it reminded me that I wanted to ask you about Tally Hall, because I had heard in at least a couple episodes you play songs by Tally Hall. You played one that was called Anne, and you played uh, the yep. Shia LaBeouf, Cannibal Shia LaBeouf song. I remember that. And one of the other things is, years ago... I didn't know the Shia LaBeouf song was a Tally Hall song, though. Or maybe that's not what you're saying. I don't know. They posted a video on YouTube. Uh, and it was called like Craigslist Caller, and it was them doing a prank call where they call someone on Craigslist about their washing machine, and tell the guy that they are not interested in the washing machine. They stole my shit. And I was curious if that was the inspiration for you doing that, because that's a pretty regular call that you do, um, or if maybe that predates that. I don't know, but uh, no, I... that was a weird coincidence, and I was curious. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just thought of that on my own to say I don't want something or. Maybe I stole it from another prank caller. I don't think I heard the prank call by Tally Hall, though, so I don't think it could be them. 
And I don't know when that video was posted that you're talking about. So I don't know if I started it first or they started it first. I wouldn't even know how to figure out when I started doing it. You guys would have to tell me that. I don't know. I think I'm going to sue Tally Hall, though, is what I'm saying. You're going to have a process server at your door pretty soon, Tally Hall people. It's the duelist. Hey, uh, I love the Patreon uh, Valentine Wiener thing. That old woman that you called was hilarious when she kept saying, please do. Oh, my God. I was laughing my ass off. Uh, so keep up the good work. Uh, oh, yeah, the one that said Valen Wiener's Day or something. That was so bizarre. A butterfly kisses. Bye. Bye. And she laughed at her own hilarious joke. Hey, Brad, it's me again. You said call you back so that way you can leave another message. So I'm calling you back. Thank Anyways, God. yeah, I'm getting sentenced on May 5th of 2023. That's what I was saying in my other voicemail anyways mm -hmm. yeah so hopefully that doesn't happen but i've been doing good i've been helping out my uncle and aunt shoveling snow and stuff yeah and they help me pay for things if i don't have enough money that's great so usually i just work for it basically is what i'm saying what's but your aunt and anyways, uncle's number i'm gonna prank them yeah while you're in keep up with your show they are good. And that one that I listened to, the new one, it was good. Which one? So keep it out, Brad. This is an old voicemail. I never know. It's from March 17th, everybody. What episode was that? And I hope you don't get sentenced to jail or prison or anything. I think I'm going to stop playing voicemails and get this show put together. Thanks, everybody, for leaving voicemails and listening to the show. Hopefully you liked it. I put the show up on Patreon a couple days ago. Just the live portion of it, unedited. And I asked the listeners to name the show. And I think my favorite one is from Main 25. It's cracking down on silent apartment dwellers. I think I'm just going to shorten it down to silent apartment dwellers. But thanks, Main 25, for that and your ideas in the chat room on Friday. I don't know why I'm telling you the origin of today's show title. That's pretty weird of me. Anyway, this show has been brought to you by Basket of Grapes, Brennan, Omni, Casey Deeply, and Gobi. Thanks everybody that supports the show. If you'd like to support the show, it's patreon.com slash phone losers, or there are other ways. Just look in the description unless you're on Apple because Apple sucks. They won't let you put links in the description. What's wrong with you, Apple? Get your shit together. Happy holidays. It won't be like last time. I get your sick of tricks in that old annual pastime, but this time things will finally go your way. I'm talking happiness, success, and health, and maybe today you're gonna land a new job, gonna find a companion. Folks on social media,